Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper and today I'm going to show you how to make a cute card very quick and it's going to look like this. So as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator I um, am going to go to a small convention um, in Orlando, Florida next week and we swap cards out. So all the demonstrators get together and they make all these cards that are all the same and then we swap them with other demonstrators and then we come back like say we make 20 of the same cards we come back with 20 different cards and it's so cool so this is one of my swaps so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and show you I'm gonna use this uh, wishing you well stamp set I'm also using the color palette of Grapefruit Grove. So I've got the paper and I've got the ink. And then I thought the color Crumb Cake would go really well with this Grapefruit Grove as well. So I picked that color to coordinate. So I just love that it's so simple, so easy to coordinate everything. So first things first, I'm just going to take my stamp and trimmer. I'm going to take my uh, 11 side and cut it right in half, so right at five and a half. And it's very easy. I just take this and go straight across, and now I have two card bases. And instead of folding it myself, I want to use this little tab here, and that is going to give me a nice little line. So I'm going to take my eight and a half that I have now and cut that in half at, not cut it, I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. So I take this guy and I score it. This one cuts and this one scores. And now I have a nice line there where I can easily just fold that right in half and it comes out nice and square. Well, that's not a square, but you know what I mean. And then I'm just gonna take my bone folder and burnish that so that we get a nice crisp, uh, you know, so it's not popping up or anything like that. Okay, so we've got the card base done. Then we're going to need the part that we're going to stamp on. So I took a piece of very vanilla and I cut that down and I wanted to have a little bit of an edge around it, maybe a quarter of an inch on each side. So then all I did was take the paper and I cut it down by a quarter of an inch on each side which would make it uh, three and three quarters by five using the same my stamp and trimmer. So now we're gonna go ahead and use our wishing you well. The first stamp I'm going to use is this guy here and that's the bunch. I'm going to put that here with uh, the crumb cake. So I'm just going to open this up, stamp it down a few times, and I'm going to put it in the middle this way but up higher because I want some words to go down there so we've got that nice little guy there and then while I'm here some of you have asked about the um, what's this called it is called the simple, simply chamois. And so you just take, let me show you the other side because I want you to know that it does um, not really clean up well. So once you stamp this all off, I mean it cleans the stamp very well. You can see there's no more uh, ink on there. But this ink will probably stay on there, especially those reds. So all you do to use the chamois is you open it up you put some water and it's good to go and then I just used an old uh, case like this and uh, put that right in there 
So now this one's clean and ready to go. And you guys, that's all we're going to use this color for. So I'm going to put that away. Now it's time to use our different stamps with the Grapefruit Grove. Again, everything coordinates, so I don't have to think about it at all. So I'm just going to open that up. Oh, let me show you how to open it. The other ones, the old ones, you used to push and then flip it open and then like that. Right? And then close it. The new ones open just like a compact. You don't have to do any of that. So it just opens right up like that. And then you slide it in. So the three stamps we're going to use for this section, we're going to use that beautiful bow that I just love here. We're going to use these little flowers and we're going to use this just a note. So first things first, let's put those flowers on there and they're just all over the place. So just ink this up really well. And however you'd like, I mean, you just stamp it right on there and you've got your bouquet of flowers. So you've got that. Again, this makes it so easy just to clean off. And you can see in the clear section, like there's no ink there anymore. So we've got that one done. Now we're going to add the bow right here. Ink up that bow. And we're going to see, we're going to want that middle to go right there. And there we go. It's a nice tied bouquet. Very simple, very quick, and easy. You know me, inexpensive, quick, and easy is what I'm looking for. So we've got that. We're going to set that aside for the moment. And now we're going to use our just a note. I just have a piece of scrap because remember I cut off a quarter of an inch um, on each side. So this is actually going to make one inch there. So I'm going to take this. This is just a leftover piece of very vanilla stamp that there and then I'm going to do the same over on this side and I do want to leave a little bit there and I'm hoping I left enough and I'm going to take the banner punch and I'm going to use this banner right here and I did leave enough I'm just lining it up the way I want it right in the center there punch it out and I've got the just a note now I did two and the reason I did two is because I am making a lot and so I'm just going to use this for um, the next card you guys that's our stamping now let's go ahead and put it all together I'm going to close this back up you just pull it and close it right around and you're good to go there. Let's clean this up while we have it. And that's done. So simple. And let's go ahead and put these together. Now what I want to do is have a piece of ribbon right across here. So I'm going to cut this just a little bit longer than what it is and this one that I'm using is a crumb cake again everything color coordinates I just love it and this is the classic weave ribbon and then I'm just gonna take some of my glue dots here and I'm gonna put my glue dot Let's go right here get everything that I don't need out of the way I'm going to take my glue dot and put it on the end pull it up 
and then on the other end, on the same side, get another glue dot and pull it up. So now I have two glue dots on here. And I'm just going to line this up. And I want it in the middle of this white uh, vanilla section where it's not stamped. And then I'm just going to bend this back around. And the same thing on this side. And now we've got that. And because we had those glue dots, they're just holding that ribbon right in place there. So we've got this all done. At this point, I'm now going to add this to my card here. And I will just use some simple snail adhesive to do that. And I put a couple here, and I'll put a couple, I guess a few there. And then what I'd like to do, I hold this down and go across it. And then the same on this side, go across it so that it is holding that ribbon in place again. So just another little bit of added. I take that and I line up these corners right here and then the rest will all go right into place if everything's a square. So see how everything kind of looks square there? And then I just do the same thing here. And there you go, you've got that quarter of an inch all the way around. So we've got that. Let's add this little guy on here. And I think we will add that with some Stampin' Dimensionals. We've got that. These are the large ones, but I think we're going to go with the smaller ones. So I've got the smaller ones there. And I'll tell you what, what I love about Stampin' Up! is that you kind of get on these teams and you have mentors. And I have people on my team that I mentor, but I also have um, people that mentor me and you learn little tricks along the way. So I used to always pick these up and put them on and, you know, do that. But I'm going to take this, flip it over, and I just learned this from my mentor, Lori. And we're going to just stick that here and you can just pull that right off. And then stick it where you need it. And I love this little take your pick tool. Um, you hear me talking about it probably in all of my videos. So I'm going to put three because I don't want it to be squished anywhere. I want it to just pop up. And so I love that. I also, you can take these off with this guy, which I love. Or when I was doing a whole bunch of them, I flipped this guy over, lock it into place, and then it just pops right off really easily like a little fingernail and I just loved it so there we go and then that's the tool you guys all asked me about and some of you have bought it and I'm sure you love it and then I'm just gonna pop this right in the middle of that ribbon so it looks like that ribbon is holding it on and then going to just add a little rhinestone here and since I already have that little fingernail I'm going to just take that pop it up and put it right there in the middle and you guys, that is my card. And you can see how quick and easy that was to make all of these really pretty cards. And they all match so nice and lovely together. So if you like this, you guys, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to purchase any of this stuff, you guys know I always put the links in the description below of everything I use. So... Go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you like this, what color you think it would be beautiful in. I like the Grapefruit Grove. You let me know what you think. All right, beauties, you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. One, two, three, four.